In this video, I'm going to show you how to install some simple mods for Kingdom Come Deliverance using a mod manager known as Vortex. If you haven't got Vortex installed, please go along to the Nexus Mods site and you can download it and install it from there. The first thing you're going to need is an extension for Vortex that will let it manage Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. So go along to the Extensions tab on the left hand side and then go down to where it says Find More and click that button. This will open a pop-up and in the search box at the top, just type in Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. It should appear fairly quickly and then just click Install in the lower right corner. It won't take long to install. Once it does, go down to the bottom and click Close and then you will need to restart Vortex for that extension to take effect. There should be a yellow highlighted panel at the top with a restart button, just press that. Once Vortex has restarted, you will need to go along to the Games tab on the left hand side and scroll down the list of games until you find Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. And once you do, just click the Manage button at the centre of the icon. You're now ready to begin modding your game. Of course, you will need a mod with which to mod the game. And if you don't have one already, you can go along to the Nexus mod site. You can even do that from the Vortex tool if you want and get many great mods right there. You will need to sign up if you don't already have an account. Don't worry, there is a free account if you want. For this video, I have chosen a mod called Thinner Health and Stamina HUD which is a mod that changes the heads up display to be a little less in your face, a little more minimalistic. And installing this mod is very, very easy from this point. You simply go along to the files tab next to description. And then I'm going to be taking the default version, the main file, and I'm gonna click on mod manager download. It will be downloaded into Vortex and I will immediately get a pop-up allowing me to install. But I'm gonna close that because you could also just click on the blue button to the right and install it that way. Either option works just fine. By default, Vortex should have enabled and deployed the mod once it's installed it. You can actually check whether or not it has been enabled and deployed by going along to the top menu to where it says open, and then scrolling down to Open Game Mods folder. Once you click there, it will open up a Windows Explorer browser for you, and you can see your Kingdom Come Deliverance game now has a folder called Mods in it, and the mod you've just installed has been installed there. Well, that is not technically true. It was installed somewhere else, but it has been deployed here, and it is ready to go. If you can't find it in that folder, you can actually force Vortex to deploy manually by going along to the top menu and clicking the deploy button. And that's it. You can now run your game and see the changes that the mod has brought. Now, some mods have optional files, and this is true for the mod I've installed. If I go back to the Nexus page for this mod, I can scroll down and find an optional file called Compass Background Thinner. And I've decided I want a thinner background. So once again, I'm going to click on the Mod Manager Download. It will download it and I can install it. This time I will do it from the pop-up that appeared. And once again, that has been installed. It really is that simple. I can now start up the game again. And this time I have a much thinner compass. And it's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. There are some mods that are a little more complicated, but for the majority of the mods you're going to want to install, it really is that easy.